Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, minimum fuel cost to report to the capital. The problem states that you are given a tree. Each node represent a city. Okay. Each city has a car and each of those cars like each car in this city has these number of capacity. Okay. Now you have there is a representative in each of the city and that representative needs to travel to the capital city. The capital city is the city zero. Okay. So what you do like each of these representatives or from each of these node you have to travel to node zero with the help of this car that you have. Now you can choose to drive your car all the way to the travel city or you can choose to go with someone else if they reach your city or you, have, you can choose to drive to some city and then travel with someone else. Okay. So all these combinations are possible. You have to find out what is the minimum number of fuel that is required for all of these representatives to be present at the capital city. The cost of traveling between any of these two cities is one liter of fuel. Okay. So let's take an example that will make things more clear. Let's say this is the uh, configuration. So the capital city is zero and there are three other cities one, two and three which are connected in this fashion. The optimal choice would be for one to get on his car to the node zero. Similarly for three to get on a on its own car and travel to zero. Similarly for two uh, he or she can travel to zero in one liter of fuel. So total three liter of fuel is required and hence the answer is C. You can try out other configuration like this. Uh, this guy goes there and then goes here. Pick, the, pick this guy up and then come back here. But you will find out you will not be able to complete or basically not everyone will be accumulated here in less than three liter of fuel. Okay. Now similarly let's say this is, this is another configuration. Uh, all of them has to report to zero. Each car has a capacity of two. So what you can do this two can travel to three. Now three can either travel in its own car but because two reaches here three can wait until two reaches here three and two together can go to one and then from zero. So remember that there's there are only two capacity. So one three and two are onboarded in a single car. One can't be there in that car. Okay. So that's where two goes to three first one liter of fuel. Now two and three goes to one first again one liter of fuel. Now this car this three and two car goes to zero again one liter of fuel. So total three liter of fuel is required for two and three to reach zero. Now for one uh, it can travel in its own car and reach to zero. So again one liter of fuel. So total four liter of fuel these three guys reaches at the capital city. Now five will just reach in its own car one liter of fuel. So now four and six can both come in a single car. So six will go to four first and then they both can travel here. So in total two liter of fuel these two guys can be here. So these three guys four liter these two guys two liter and this guy one liter. So total seven liter of fuel is required for all of them to be accumulated at node zero. And you can try out other possible combinations and you will see you will not be do better than this seven liter of fuel. Now how to solve this. So let's say this is the configuration. Okay. Just uh, I have taken different cases. So as with every other problem I would encourage us to think uh, when the problem is not big. Okay. So let's just focus on this part of the problem. So let's say this is the configuration. There are only three nodes. Okay. And this uh, and this root node is always the capital city. So this is the 0th node let's say and this is the capital city. You have to reach here. 
now what are your choices let's say uh, the car has capacity 3 okay so because the car has capacity 3 they three they all of these three can travel so you don't need to worry about capacity at this point okay now we have we have resolved the problem in a very similar like in a very smaller problem we removed capacity at all because capacity is three so they they all can travel in a single car so we removed capacity concept all at all and we reduced the tree to a two three sized uh, tree now what what is the like what will be the minimum number of fuel required okay so let's they they both has to travel here right so someone has to initiate so let's say this node initiates this node first goes to the root in one liter of fuel okay now what are the choices this guy reaches here right so now this guy can uh, let's say this is one this is two okay just to simplify things so now this one uh, now this one can actually come to this node okay pick two up and then go back to the root okay and now these two guys are at root so what is the total number of fuel required uh, fuel required is the number of arrows so one two three so total three liter of fuel is required okay now is this round trip worth answer is no because whenever you are doing a round trip you are paying every cost twice right once while going down and another while going up right so whenever we are doing a round trip we are paying every cost twice so this configuration like where we are going down and coming back up is something which is not optimal instead of these two you can simply go once up right because everyone has a car and uh, if you are able like if you are taking a car down it means you already have one capacity filled in right and now because you have one capacity already filled in number of nodes that you can take would be s minus one s being the total capacity so number of other guy that you can take is this much so this much guy you are taking up by paying twice cost right but you can simply start from some of the nodes here right in this part of the tree and bring up s guys total s guys in once like by by just paying the cost once of going up right so hope you get the point like you are paying same cost twice and that too for bringing in less number of guys to the root instead you can just uh, start from any of the road any of the nodes bit below and you will be paying one like once the how many, the number of the number of fuel that is required for this round trip you will be paying exactly half of that and you can able to bring more than this number of guys because you can uh, they are total s capacity so you can bring s number of guys uh, in best case right so that's what like we have just proved that it doesn't make sense to go down and then come back up right so this journey this going down and then coming back up is something that uh, doesn't make sense so we will avoid all this kind of uh, journey where we are going down to take someone okay so everyone should come up that's the other way of saying this right so everyone should come up now we have uh, simply reduced the problem that okay we don't need to worry about the left or this subtree and this subtree together we can solve for each of them independently right that's what we have just proved because we shown that we have shown that these two subtrees like it doesn't make sense to travel down and then travel back up so that's where these two subtree are independent so we can solve for them independently now the next question let's say uh, you are you are solving this tree independently 
okay or maybe you can solve this independently you can solve this independently right so what is the cost required for this to go up one right similarly what is the cost required for this to go up one right because there is a one node and there is no car that can come from below so it has to bring his or her own car and then go up right with one liter of fuel so total you are you are here with two liter of fuel okay and that's the optimal choice so we have solved this particular configuration completely the observation that we just derived from here is each of the subtrees are independent and they can be uh, solved independently because it doesn't make sense to do a round trip because you will be paying same cost twice and that too for bringing up less number of guys to the uh, representative instead you can start from some of the cars from below and take more number of guys by just paying exactly half cost okay so hope this point is clear now we know we have calculated uh, uh, the cost for this right so let's let's just now focus on this part so we know that we can solve we have to find let's say this is the zero city zero city so as we discussed we can solve for left part independently we can solve for this part independently right so now let's solve for this part so this part is easy you can just go up and there is only one node so this would require one unit of fuel okay now what is about this part you have already solved that uh, if this was the tree like this is the only tree you have solved for this but now you have to bring everyone up to here okay now you have brought this and this guy here in two unit of fuel okay and that you can't avoid we have just proved that right so now three guys are here okay with uh, three guys are here and now you have to transport these three guy to a node up right so what you will do you will like what is the best best thing that you can do you can rearrange some of the guys so let's say uh, now let's reduce let's bring in capacity here let's say the capacity was 2 okay so if capacity was 2 you have three guy here so you can't just take one car to the root node you have to take two cars now wh which two car you will take it doesn't matter so let's say one reaches here with his own car two reaches here which is which is with his own car now this is like let's say this is the uh, fourth fourth guy okay now four can either travel with one four can either travel with two or four can bring his own car and one can travel with him or four can bring his own car and two can travel with him and one goes just to the route so basically it doesn't matter which arrangement you will pick you will be go you will be taking up two cars because these three guys can't be fit in a single car so you will be taking up two cars so you will be paying two unit of fuel for bringing up these three guys from this node to this node but you have already paid two fuel for bringing these two guys here right so total number of fuel that you have paid is 2 plus 2 4 so total four unit of fuel you have paid for bringing up these all guys to this node right so hope this makes sense so what what we are doing we are just trying to figure out wh what is the total number of fuel that we have paid below it that is independent of what is the fuel we will be paying now because you have solved that independently now you know everyone is here now you are free to choose any kind of arrangements that you can and optimize the number of cars that will be going up so remember in these two points you don't have that choice but now you have that choice you can actually ar rearrange the guys in num in some cars and will and you can send exactly optimal number of cars upwards okay so what exactly we are doing now let's think about the original problem so this was the original configuration everyone has to reach here this is the root node okay so let's forget about this now 
what you can simply do you can simply say that okay i will just find out what is the total so basically this part is independent right this part is independent and this part is independent right so what you can just say that i will just find out what is the total number of fuel required to travel to this edge because everyone will be traveling up right so this three edge would be there for sure because everyone is traveling up now instead of saying that okay uh, just uh, give me total count what you can just say i will assume that everyone is here now if everyone is here i can just send let's say there are total x number of nodes below or in this case 1 2 3 4 so total five guys are here right so what you can just say i will just worry about this edge uh, i just want to bring this five guys to this node now what is the total number of cars that will be required three right uh, ceiling of 5 by 2 which is three similarly total number of cars required in this case is one and here total total three guys are there right so total number of cars uh, cars required would be two so you have now said like what we have done uh, we have solved for each of these nodes and from each of these nodes we have just uh, figured out what is the minimum number of car required to go up because at this point you can do any kind of arrangement but uh, you have to bring some everyone here right so for that itself you have to uh, actually bring up uh, uh, bring everyone to this node now to bring everyone to this node you will follow the same strategy you will say okay i i assume that everyone is here okay and everyone of this particular subtree is here now what is the total number of cars required so in a sense what we are doing is at every node we are just figuring out if everyone is at here what is the number of cars required if everyone is here what is the number of cars required so what will be the answer for this particular configuration let's try to find out uh the answer for this particular configuration would be first there are five nodes here let's find out number of nodes in each subtree first okay that is the first uh thing so number of nodes in each of these subtree are this right now what is the number of uh, cars required here 3 5 by 2 uh, ceiling of 5 by 2 similarly the number of cars required here is 1 number of cars required here is 2 now what is the number of cars required to bring everyone here so basically number of cars required to bring this all guys here which will be 2 right number of cars required to bring this guy here this will be 1 now again what is the number of cars required to bring everyone here 1 and 1 and for this 1 1 1 1 so finally you will sum everything up and you will be getting what is the minimum number of fuel in which everyone can reach here okay so hope this makes sense now remember we are able to do so because we are uh, we have proved that each of these arrow will go upwards this they will never go downwards and that's the reason we are able to apply this particular uh, algorithm to solve this basically we have just said i will assume everyone is here now i can rearrange and uh, every one of them in any fashion i want and i can send send them in optimal number of cars above okay so that's the point uh hope uh, the solution is clear let's look at the code the code is very straight forward we just count the subtree nodes in every subtree that is that you can do with simple dfs i am not showing the code of this now what i have done uh, if any one if any one of them has parent like i can just remove this condition as well and i can just start this node from 1 because i i already know that i rooted the tree at 0 So if I rotate the tree at zero, except zero, everyone is parent. So this condition can be removed actually, uh, and this loop can be started from one. That is also possible, and I can just show you this as well. This will pass basically. So uh, what we are doing, like we are just finding out uh, the number of subtree nodes divided by seats. That's the total number of uh, cars required to send these all guys to this particular node. and we are doing this for every node okay so hope this session makes sense if you have any doubts in the problem please post them in the comment section below uh and i will see you in the next one thank you